Seven deaths stemming from suspected heroin overdoses in northern Minnesota have rocked the state. And narcotics investigators believe the batch circulating now could be tainted with other drugs. Officials came together in Bemidji today to talk about this epidemic. Our Mary Keeler has the story. This is a problem that is getting worse. And with today's more pure heroin, getting deadlier. Seven people have died and more than a dozen have survived non-fatal overdoses linked to the use of heroin in Minnesota, touching nearly a dozen northern counties, including Beltrami. Now law enforcement officials are making it their mission to target who is dealing and where it is coming from. We are working hard to try and determine who the people are that are bringing these uh, drugs into our area. We actually have identified several of the people. When we find those drug dealers, we intend to charge them with third degree murder. And this plea for change from local law enforcement officials comes on the heels of Monday's arrest of three men in Itasca County for possession of over 130 grams of heroin. Drugs are killing people uh, across our communities. Um, it's one of the biggest burdens on society, uh, on our adults and especially on our children. A reality Red Lake knows all too well as their police carry Narcan, the life-saving injection to save those after an overdose. Since January, Narcan has been used on the reservation 19 times. If it could save a life, that, that doesn't make a difference what the cost is. Law enforcement officers are working diligently to, to uh, stem this flow of narcotics trafficking in the area. And uh, uh, we... Uh, we aren't going to stop until we do that. Leaving no question that this issue is one the state is keeping a close eye on. In Bemidji, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. Law enforcement is now testing to determine if the heroin they found comes from the same batch. That amount seized is up 125% since 2011. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.